Yep. Call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this uh, 12th day of July 2022 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask uh, our treasurer, Ann Melton, to lead us in a prayer and a pledge of the flag. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for today and all the gifts that you have given us. Watch over these elected officials that make decisions for the county and help them to make the best decisions for our citizens. Watch over our citizens during these troubling times and keep us safe. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Gentlemen, you have before you the uh, June 28th meet, uh, minutes. I need a motion for approval. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Motion. motion by Jason. Second. Go Second by Joe. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? <clears throat> discussion, corrections, of addition. If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Before you have the bills plans, payments are transferred, including a late list. I need a motion to approve. So motion by Larry Cannon. Second. Second by Jason Boyd. Uh, any discussion? I'm gonna let give just a minute, Judge, uh, okay. to uh, look at this late list. Okay. Uh, and on the on the late list road construction materials Mark Marietta District 4 Rock is uh, can you tell me whether that's uh, 50 set or 610s or number 9 Rock I'd have to I'd have to go get the statement I think it's on the actual invoices okay well it doesn't have to be tonight I, I don't have a problem with it but I do know that when we prep one the rocks different it yep. comes out of construction account uh, the number nines comes out of uh, uh, monies uh, yeah. in my district. So, yeah, um, so I'll, make number some, I'll make a point. I call uh, Shandra to make sure she understands that. Okay, got gotcha. you. Is the uh, prep rock number nine? Did you say? Oh, no, no, no. 50, no. Uh, 60, six tens. Six, six tens ten. or 57 or anything like that. Yeah. Or dense grade right. sometimes, I think, too. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah. Yeah. But the chip and seal is number nine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, anything is not number nine. Rock. The one you don't want to drive. Anything that's not number nine. That's yeah. easier. Okay. Uh, need more discussion? Opposed discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? The bills are paid. Our debtors will be happy. Uh, you have your June 22nd financial statement from the Treasury Bank. Make motion and acknowledgement. Motion by Joe Barnes to acknowledge. Second. Second by. Our county. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Hold like sign. Look at carries. Uh, you have the sheriff's franchise settlement before you. Do you need a motion for that? Yes. So we. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Yeah. 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 Motion of acknowledgement. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, next, you have the, the sheriff's uh, property tax settlement. Make a motion to acknowledge. Motion about Joe. I'll second. Second, on this, on this, I was looking at the, the, the tax settlement, the numbers. Those tangible. Where is where will that be at when the uh, they did the, the Rick House charge? Will that be under? Where would that be at? No, that'll be under uh, franchise or the franchise. Uh, no, wait a minute. It'll be under something different than that. Okay. Because that tax bill is generated from the state and sent to Olivia based on their income tax that they send up. Well, there's the franchise settlement. Hands. That's we, we have bank franchise 
Yeah. And then the other franchise is like um, okay. I'll, 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 different things like that. Okay. Uh, it's not on the agenda, but you do have it in your packet. We also have the the, uh, the clerk's delinquent tra taxes. So moved. Motion by Larry Cam. To acknowledge. acknowledge. Yeah. Second by Joe Barnes. Uh, any discussion? Being none. All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, we have to uh, amend the budget to put in the uh, uh, in the year reserves or yes yeah, all that stuff where, you, get your, where you get to carry over your uh, uh, discretionary funds and that sort of thing yeah. I'll uh, make a motion a motion by Jason second second by Joe now on there was that we were carrying over ARPA, ARPA funds too and everything wasn't that right so, okay. Anything left in the bank? How close are we getting to the uh, fire departments in the cities? We, we're ready to do that. I think the judge said the next court meeting that will be on a resolution. Okay. Roll call. Kim? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. <coughs> the uh, uh, first reading of budget amendment, which is 2023-1, was approved. Uh, next, I need you guys just authorize me to. Uh, what about the administrative code? I'm sorry, let me back up. Thank you. This, you don't have to stick me in the ribs so hard today. <laughs> <laughs> Get you a bicycle. Get you a bicycle, Dave. Okay. First reading <laughs> of the administrative code. Uh, no, second. This is second, second reading. reading. Second reading of the administrative code, which you passed before. Uh, as you remember, there were subtle changes in that. So we need a second uh, reading of it. So move. Motion by Larry. Second. Second by Jason. Any discussion? Being none. Kim? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Motion carries. Now you ready for that first reading of the budget? Yeah, we did that. We, we did, did that. that. Still yeah. my order. Yeah, yeah. It's still my order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, I need you guys to authorize me to sign the paperwork for the PDI grant, which is we did in October. This is another step in the application process. Well, what we probably the motion probably needs to say is to approve the agreement as written. Uh, we provide we've been provided a draft agreement from the state, and so uh, to approve it as written with the judge authorized to sign if it's in the same or similar form. Okay. Is anybody okay. going to make a motion? Would you? No, I would. Yeah. Well, I'll say can. <clears throat> same or similar? Same. Yeah, it's the same form. I mean, we it, okay. there could be some small, not minor changes, but I wouldn't think anything significant at all. Okay. I have a second? Yeah, I'll second. Second with Joe. Any discussion? Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Mr. Carrick. Uh, the animal shelter lease agreement. Uh, uh, Justin, we want to change that just a little bit over on the maintenance end. Okay. And pretty much right as, as uh, uh, is on the building. Do I? As is, they maintain it. They okay. So with that change, do I have a motion to approve that? I mean, I'll make a motion. Or I'll second. Second. Whatever. <laughs> pick one. Pick right. We yeah, have a, instead of us maintaining, they maintain as is. Is all we looked at. Uh, we have motion second. Any, any further discussion? Okay. Any further discussion? Uh, being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like saying. Motion passed. Uh, next on their agenda. I want to recognize our coroner, Elvis Stolen, and his uh, deputies are here. And uh, Joe, come forward and uh, and uh, tell us what's on your heart and mind. <clears throat> this ain't good when all three of you come up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just keep your hands to your sides. We don't want to check pulse or anything. Uh, first of all, we've been in uh, Hartford City has gotten their stuff moved out of the old fire station building, and we're in the process of trying to get coroner's office moved uh, as a whole, the office part of the mortuary and everything in one building and uh, uh, we have compiled a list here of things that's uh, in need of repair of that building before we can move up there and uh, it's not too bad but there is several things that need to be addressed uh, and it needs to you know to be cleaned up but uh, whatever the court can do to help us with that we appreciate it do you have a cost on it to help us no, i don't have any cost yet like charlie and i met the other day and went over there and we had a um, uh, the heating and cooling people was there with us as well as Dwayne taylor and they kind of done a walk through just to kind of get an idea of what we were looking at. The electrical system is probably going to be the most most expensive because it still has the screw-in type fuse panel in it. It doesn't have a modern breaker panel. So that along with conduit wiring, lighting, things of that nature, that's going to be the biggest sticking point. Uh, as far as the heating and cooling goes, I think that they're what Marty Shepard and them was speaking of, we might be able to trim that down a little bit to a, something that would be less expensive but workable. Um, so that's the main goal for us tonight and the reason I put this together was so that you guys could, everybody could review it, give us an opportunity to seek a bid, see what, you know, see where we're at on cost. That's what we don't, we really don't know and we haven't gone to that, that step yet. On the back page of this is a sketch uh, outlining the area that's um, available space and, and size of the rooms and things of that nature for the purpose of when we do have opportunity to spec it out then they, they'll have something to go on as far as square footage goes. Um, potentials for um, outlet placements and things like that. I tried to put as much of that on there as necessary for right now. Those things could change but um, one of the biggest things on like Elvis mentioned was the cleanup which the cleanup is no big deal I mean that's that's something I think we've uh, looked at inmate help and things of that nature uh, possibly if it's available but um, you know the work probably will have to take place first before the major cleanup starts uh, it would be kind of pointless to do it twice I guess but they pretty much vacated everything, you know, all of their equipment, all their supplies, everything like that's out. And they took the heating units out too, the gas overhead no heater and the gas wall heaters. They took that out too, so we don't have any heat in the, only in our section of that, that we work out. I think we put some in much more efficiently and we yeah. put them wall yeah. Mm -hmm. and they'll be much the one they had in the bay, in the double bay, it was one of the ceiling hanging type and it was vented. Uh, I think Joe maybe saw that the night we walked over there, but right. it was uh, it was hanging there that would heat that whole bay area. Uh, the back section of that where we've got, we put that cooler, the new cooler, we've got it sitting back there right now just so we'd have a place to put it in until we can get it hooked up. But those two, that that particular thing is going to have to have a dedicated circuit because of, you know, it's going to be constant running. Um, that back section I don't think will be as critical of having heat cool as much as it will need an exhaust fan back there installed uh, because the compressor on the cooler itself probably will heat it enough in the winter time to, because it's sandwiched between two parts. It's sandwiched between Bess's area that's already cooled and heated and in the front section that'll be cool to me. But uh, if, you know, if it's, we've talk, uh, talked about it, if it was possible 
that once this starts and the, the renovation or the upgrade start, if they could start on that office space first, then we could vacate the bottom down here and y'all could use that, you know, to get another tenant in there that uh, to generate funds. And that way, too, it just work helps us. For what we got over there if we had our office fake Instead of running it back and fixed forth. Fixed first, yeah. And guys, be perfectly honest, we may have to do this in stages because I know we're well, looking this over, it, 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 it's running yeah. in Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, sure. Won't, you, won't we get somebody, and, I, and I, I'll tell Charlie to go ahead and help with it, too, but if you'll go ahead and get price like on the end phases, price right. on the office. Whichever one you guys want first, yeah, or whatever, yeah, that's what we yeah. try to address. The office probably first, and now we lost power in the, that new receptacle of the day in the cooler we had. Luckily, Ooh. it didn't have a body in there, Ooh. but we had we run an extension cord to the bathroom to our, to our wash sink area. Are they been fixed? One tens? Is that yes, they are. They yeah, it's hundred tens. Has it been fixed down? No, no, not yet. I don't know what. We don't know where. Uh, how it's wired to where that power is driving from. They brought that in on a dedicated circuit, which is what mm -hmm. Dwayne had said, but then I didn't get it, I didn't get in touch with him that night. Uh, Saturday night was when I tried to call, and uh, he was unavailable, and haven't been able to reach him this week. But uh, we've got it, it's on a, I think it's on a dedicated circuit now, but it's just with the temporary. Cord. There's no reason. Either. Something that we've got there shouldn't work. Right, yeah. that's correct. Let's, let's get that um, I do believe, though, like I say, with the things that we've listed on there that needs attention, um, first and foremost, the electrical needs to be brought up to code. Because if somebody goes in there or, you know, whatever, I mean, it's, it's bad. And I would invite each of you, if you, after the meeting tonight, if you got a few minutes, walk up there with us. That'll put an idea of what I've got here and you can visualize what I'm talking about because to read it on here it doesn't it might not yeah. and it wouldn't take us 15 minutes to do that a lot exactly. of them wires are run to run tower conduit yeah. into that old fuse panel box yeah. Yeah. but back in the day that was it's accepted got to be you know. yeah. Yeah. let's uh I got to go somewhere after this, but since two of them are already gone you can get a price on that box because that's that's kind of I wouldn't do all this stuff until the electrical work is sure. done anyway. Right. Can we just meet before the four o'clock and meet up there? All of us go up there and walk with them. That we can just kind of walk through it with them. Sure. Next meeting on the twenty. Yeah. 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 And yeah. That, that way we have costs on the electrical. Yeah. And I can also try to get some some of the ideas of some of the other things to have get those in place um you know that might uh i need to walk it too be, be more you know i like these the fuse boxes i think they're safer to break so you can have but they are out there they are yeah. they certainly yeah. are out there uh, oh oh man no, yeah, it's it's that part, yeah. The, yeah. the breaker part might not be as bad but the wiring is pretty yeah. good no, the wiring is all together it is but you wouldn't want to put a lot of effort into anything with it like it is. The cleaning and painting walls and then removing those shelves, you think we can get the, like you said, the inmates to do all that? That's what I'm hoping. I haven't had a chance to get with Riff on that, so I don't know what is it, what the availability on that is. Um, the outside, definitely, you know, because we saw the paint scaling really bad on it. But you take a pressure washer, it'll knock every bit of that off. Right. Um, but the in, the inside the office there it's structure wise is fine it just needs to be you know painted and updated like us cool. yeah. i'm sorry it's like us <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. 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 yeah a lot of miles on it yeah, I hear that. a lot of miles on it a lot of foot traffic in and out of there over the years yeah but like i said i i compiled this list for you guys tonight um having that I did speak to Larry briefly, Larry Morphy briefly before he left town, but I uh, haven't seen Sam. So, you know, like I say, once we can get those estimates this upcoming weeks yeah, uh, and weeks have them in hand good. by the next time, uh, then that way you guys, if you will, will meet, we'll walk through, kind of show you, a, the, talk to you about the plan, and that way you'll have time to look over what we've 
Do you want to elect them first and then the office second? The office correct? second. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the way it needs to be. We, like I say, with what we got down there, we can work with that until we get the rest of it done. Now, this also, if you'll see in that sketch that I, the yeah, floor plan so. layout, I, I mean, the um, Hartford PD currently has that one bay that's next to us on the far end that they're utilizing for their impound and that sort of thing, the evidence source. That can stay the they same. Stay. Because they've got so much there, that's going to be crucial to them, you know, as it is. And, um, we're, what we are planning or what we want to plan to do on this is not going to interfere with their activities at all and anything that might help them in a way. Um, There's a, a section of plywood work boxed in will probably have to be uh, a little of that removed so we can get a stretcher around to the coolers that's in the back because you can't make the turn either that or block wall and it wouldn't be feasible. You'll still be on the plane inside, correct? Yes. Yeah. This, that back section back there where, um, I think, Bo, did you tell me that's where they stored tanker at one time? Yeah, and that, they stored back, back bay. Back bay. Uh, that area is where we're planning on putting the cooler at, and it's the one where the bay door opens toward the community center parking lot that's back. Okay. And by us doing that, that allows us, if someone is coming to pick up, say a funeral home or uh, or if we're dropping off or another agency's dropping off, they're right there in the cooler area. We can back them in, shut the door, and it's discreet. That's great. That, I like that. Private and discreet. Yeah. You know, whereas sure. now it's not that because if we open that bay to do anything up there and people are walking to the library or in the library see. or the jail or the courthouse, they can look right up that alley and see everything that's going on. And it doesn't need to be that way. But. Like I said, I tried to add as much information in this layout as I possibly could. And uh, once once we do get opportunity for us to meet and walk through questions, you know, what about something here or there, then we can put a finger on it. And well, let's have Tripp get the cost together on the wiring. I'll work on that the next week. We're not here to try to rob no. the court of yeah. money, all the money. We're just now, we appreciate what you do and your challenge with a, a, a tremendous task. And I do know that how the runs continually pick up. Still all increasing time. all the time. Yeah. And you guys have made it somewhat better. Yeah. And, how, and well, it, the, but the amount of costs is just what I can we doubled in the last four and a half years in all volume. They were at it before um, Elvis, it was about 75 to 80, and now it's 145 to 150. Plus. Last two years has been around 150. About 150 calls. We had one just a day or two ago. Saturday, yes, sir. I'm glad that we, uh, you know, was in there because when we got in there to put it in the cooler, the cooler was off. So yeah. uh, once we have a body in there, though, we try to check it every day so something Make sure that's still wrong good. with the fixture. Yeah. And we never know when that extended stay is on the curve. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. That's yeah. the unfortunate you've part had several, of today's you've world. Had several that were. That's right. We had. I, I would say if maybe even on the left course, look at uh, maybe redoing the office and redoing the water back there to the coopers. Yeah. I mean, just at that, maybe at that stage, then yeah. you can always look at other, you yeah. I know it needs complete electrical. Sure, sure. Like that, wiring, well, it's pretty much. The wiring that they put in for the new, the cooler that we've got now, it was just jumped off of uh, the old electric wire that was running out, out of a junction box. So something happened, I don't know, he went up there and unscrewed the fuses to see we could tell what was lights and what was this, but we never figured out what was driving that one yet. But so we run an extension cord from another one part of the building. That particular circuit that he's speaking of, um, like you said, it's new to the building, but it's not new to the system. Yeah. The driving system is still the same. Yeah. So it didn't, you didn't really accomplish anything, you know, even though. It's probably not even on a dedicated circuit like it's supposed to be. Maybe coming off the junction box. And we thought maybe too in the back back there that Bess's area had a separate, but there's not another 
um, power source coming into that back section. Everything comes out of that one area and just and splits from there. And Dwayne was even looking at it the other night up there, or the other day, and he was scratching his head about it. So, but uh, I know that on the end, our end, they've got three phase power coming in there. That's because of the siren up there. But that's the only other source coming into the whole building is on that end just for the siren driving in. So let, let's find out what we got to do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I appreciate it. Thank you. Next week. So four o'clock next week. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just meet at the back back here and, and go from there. Yeah, we'll just meet here at the office. All right. Hi, Judge. Yeah. I just want to say something. The city brought it to my attention, and I apologize. Uh, probably sure that y'all already are, but I know the city's provided insurance on that building. It's will added. I'm, it could be, but we have too, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Because the voting machine's we'll over there. Yeah. We'll check and make sure we've got a policy on it, but I think we do. Uh, we own it, so I'm pretty sure it's on it. I'll check it out. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'd hate to cost y'all an extra quarter. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are y'all still going to provide it on your police pay? That way you'd be. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> but, well, I mean, you know, they might not it, they might not cover it if it's city stuff in there okay, on the county yes, stuff. Sir. Yeah. So we are just playing, by the way. All right. Anyway. I thought you needed to be somewhere. We do. We need to vote. Thank you, Bob. Hey, uh, uh, Ira, we've had to hire a person at the uh, animal shelter, the guy we had there left. Uh, we're going to the maintenance this time because we're getting the guys capable of doing some of that. So his name is Alex Smith. Uh, pay rate of 1380. That's a level one. And uh, that was effective on 7 3. I've done an emergency order to get him through till tonight. But that's uh, um, Alex Smith from the full time, yeah. Kim? Yes. <laughs> yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, committee reports. We met uh, this afternoon uh, at the road committee. So, uh, do we have a motion for anything pertaining from the road uh, committee? Well, we're going to advertise for bids for a uh, truck. Uh, yeah. So, we need to place ads for them. Uh, uh, the spec can be picked up by Char uh, from Charlie's office. Yeah. yeah. Is that form of motion, George? Uh, yes. I'll second. second. Yeah. Motion for Joe, second for Larry. Two more kind. Uh, no, it's a three quarter time, I guess. I don't know. We get specs from Charlie. Okay. Yeah, specs from Charlie. Um, we got a motion second, right? Yeah, second. Okay. Yeah, Joe. Larry. Oh, Larry. Larry. Um, and then. Yeah. Any further discussion? Being none, all favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, like that. saying? Okay, we're going to have time for it. Okay, go ahead. Um, this wasn't brought up in the road to me, meeting, but we talked about in the past. The road there, uh, Goshen Church Road, or Meet 62, uh, would, uh, we talked about getting that fixed. Uh, we, we entertained and see if the state would reach out about fixing it but I'd just like to make a motion that we'll we'll go ahead and fix that from our yeah your damn side it's really be honest with you I forgot yeah, that beat damn side beat yeah. damn side is yeah I'd like to have that on a uh, motion because uh, uh, well I just would so we, we know we're all me and Nick you go out there we just need to decide if we're going to put a box cover down in there okay and funnel it because you got two ditches and one coming underneath the road so three going into one pipe underneath the state or if we want to just control it all by pipes and then cover it up with crawl or gravel. That's one. But uh, we need to do something there because there's been a lot of wrecks. Okay. Uh, the motion of Joe Barnes to Second. repair the culvert on the entrance to Goshen Church Road off of Highway 62. Second by uh, Justin Bullock. Okay. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like Sam. Uh, would. Uh, you uh, go ahead and notify uh, uh, Nick about that and tell him to get with y'all. One other commit, one other thing uh, that we touched base on, we're going to get, uh, Charles is going to get with uh, some individuals and do a, uh, 
committee, the Senate committee out to review that. Uh, what is the name of that road? It is called uh, Gillum Lane. Gillum Lane. Appointing committee for Gillum Lane. In, in Was you going to appoint the committee tonight? Yes. Okay. Justin actually recommended that we do that. We've been talking about it for some time. I'm going to appoint Charlie Shields, uh, uh, Nick Woolen, and Jason Geary. And they're supposed to report back to the court and we'll yes. go from there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Any other committee report? I'll go ahead and tell about the jail committee. Uh, well, we've got a, and I, and I wanted to invite the other members of the court. We're having a meeting in Butler County. Uh, <clears throat> maybe that's the 19th, I think, at 4.30. Is that correct? Sounds right. And, uh, but anybody will we'll leave from here, anybody interested in going, why well, we'll pile in a vehicle and take off. The, you know, we talked about the, uh, probably the, the individual that was going to talk to the, I think it's Buffalo County Judge, help me out here, David. Yeah. He's going to talk to him about that particular property uh, that the state owns up there and the individual that uh, is going to bring us up to date on what the state's going to do with it and whether we have an opportunity to buy it. That might be an uh, ideal location if yeah. that worked out. You said 19th at what time? I believe it's 4 30, am I correct? Yes. Here, to meet here at 4 30? No, Butler County. Yeah, we can meet here. We probably need to meet here at 3 30 oh, or 4 yeah. so. Let me check it out. And uh, the more road issue is, uh, we talked about it before. I wasn't able to be here last meeting. 136. Um, you know, there was there's yes. several individuals that yes, and I know that's been an ongoing thing with the six-year plan, and then there's another state plan about getting the road fixed. But there, there's been a whole lot of black tapping on the um, the McLean County, McLean County, County side, and they're kind of even some of the McLean County people that travel through that area, they're just wanting to know where the status is on the Ohio County side, <laughs> fixing the bridges and everything. So. Making sure that you know it, it's the all of the above is on the state's list. Uh, it's their pace seems very slow sometimes, but uh, I have talked to the engineers, and hopefully they'll get me a estimated time when they're going to get there. I think that's what some of the individuals was just kind of it inquiring is, about. It is on their list. I, the, the the biggest thing is about was it a year year and a half ago there was some uh, there was some. Uh, big chances of wrecks out there that people called in on and they did some they were going to do a bunch of repairs and do some spot patching and, and I don't think all that got done they did on. some around those bridges were so dangerous yeah. they came up with the uh, set Scotty's right up they broke loose with another job they came and done it but it was just like as you described the patch that's all yeah. it was I think there was they were uh, kind of in the impression that there was going to be a little bit more done in some of the bad areas yes. where the road leans and everything from the trucks. It's on so target the entire thing will be paid and also the bridges are going to be replaced and not that far in in the future. They're going to do Ohio counties first on when they repair the bridges or replace them I mean. Well maybe you get an update on I'll do that. And Dave will right add it uh, do you know what the status is on uh, 69? Yeah, we have a meeting up there. You remember when it is, Miranda? It's not like in the next week or so, but we're gonna have a meeting up there, which you'll be invited to, and they're gonna to update to you at the community camp. Okay. The state is. Huh? Okay, if she, if she said, we hadn't set the date, we just talked about this going to happen. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the call in I had on troll lane, about some mowing, some dangers on the curve. Yeah, I put a, I put that on my list here. So uh, that, that's it. Okay. You yeah. got mine on the list too that I talked to you about. Eight and that's yes, it. absolutely. Already, <coughs> uh, we've already sent that in. Okay. We got on that right on the bottom. Um, I just read, went ahead and wrote my list down, David. Be too much for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. A little humor here. On no, that's all right. right. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's it's good. Uh, uh, anything I don't get called in tonight, I want you to hang on my notes real tight so I get back and make a reminder. I'll put them right on your desk. Don't do it till I get back. I won't find it. Stay on thirty-six. I've 
what we got to do. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and tell that in the day. And we'll play Do you need to hit it Okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, do you want to okay. Jason, you got everything else? Uh, I already told that. I already told uh, that. Uh, okay. Yeah, track. Yeah, that's what the med you committee so I didn't want to open it up. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Something's not working right okay. No, we told him. Yeah, the vote so he yeah, I said, can I get a picture for him? Uh, we're considering taking it in the road system. Uh, Jason, do you have anything for the... No. Uh, Joe, do you have anything else? No, that's it. No. No, yes. oh, Judge, thank you. Does uh, anyone have anything for the good of the body? Yes, ma'am. up the microphone and tell them your name all that uh, my name is mary helen nash yes i had two things i wanted to talk about uh but i see there's nobody here representing the other side there was an article in our, in our paper about off-road uh, activity off-road four-wheeling uh, there was supposed to be according to the paper someone here to talk in favor of that and uh, I, don't, I don't hear anybody. <laughs> so uh, my point is, I am against it. I don't think we should spend a dime on it. Uh, it's not that there's perhaps some good people that want that, but I don't think tax dollars should go for that. If they want some place to ride their four-wheelers, then they should lease a farm. Uh, the only the only reason I'm here against it is because uh, people come on our property all the time on four-wheelers. For some reason, when you have a big rivers line coming through your property with a 100-foot swat underneath that line, they just think, that's free. Just do what you want to do with it. That's not what Big River says. Anyway. Uh, that and the fact that there's so many other needs, just like the coroners that talked tonight. Put your money there. Don't. I, I just. I, I just don't agree with that at all. And I want to voice my opinion about that. I'm only one. I don't know how many other people are involved in that. Uh, I'm sure they're all good people. I'm sure they're not doing any damage. <coughs> but they probably should police their own people too. They should police their own four wheelers and their dirt bikes. We, we're going to have a public forum on that sometime in the not not within the next weeks but within the next month or so okay. on that when the, for those folks to come and and present their uh, talk oh. and there also will be a committee from, from between the county leadership team uh, uh, the fiscal court and uh, public and uh, citizens at large that will do a study and really look at this thing in its entirety well see that takes time and money too studies always take time well these won't with this study of things that we're we're going to look at okay. but, th but i do appreciate your opinion well I, i'm not sure i'll even come back to the next one no, anyway. I mean, no i mean we, we've heard what you say yeah okay I, I appreciate that how come i thought they were coming today i thought somebody was coming. somebody got ill okay okay my, second, my understanding is real okay. quick is you're saying are they, are, are they just coming to look at riding on roads? On the, 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 this particular time, they want okay. to make it I legal. Do, I'm not they would like to have this ATV area, but they, okay. right now it was about riding on county roads. Well, as long as, <laughs> as, long as tax dollars don't go for it, then I'm fine with it. So if we don't have a park, we can't do it. My second issue is. And I promise this won't take any longer than trying to get you guys on the phone. No offense, I'm not mad at you or anything. I've tried, this is my third time trying to get this issue uh, answered. Railroad bed road, uh, I'm sorry, Tucker Hollow Road was a road that was in service with people living on it up until the 60s or 70s. I'm not quite sure when it was closed to the, as far as the county taking care of it. 
At that time, the counties <coughs> stopped taking care of it to a certain extent, and it was it was uh, gated off at a certain point. It didn't go back to the residents that used to live there. The, the Tucker Hollow was just cut off. It's just a dead end. <clears throat> now, it has oil activity. Three properties are involved that I'm talking about. It has oil property, and so the oil people keep up the roads. And uh, my question has been, <clears throat> I asked my magistrate, he didn't call me back. Like I said, no offense, I'm not mad, I don't hold grudges. I asked the county attorney, and I honestly can't remember, you did not give me an answer, that's all I know. <clears throat> what happens is, uh, as I said, the county road ends at a gate, and that gate is locked, okay? We have a key to that gate. <clears throat> what I wanna know is, do we have a right to always use our property by going through somebody else's and by using the old well roads and can if we choose to can we build a house in the middle of our property and if we choose to uh, can we sell it because as you know landlocked property is not worth as much as road frontage it's just a given it's not but my question is um, are we allowed to do that? I, I wouldn't know why. I mean, I know the state of Kentucky says that you cannot keep somebody off their property. And uh, the map shows, you know, you, re, you redid the maps about, I don't know, long time, four or five years ago, maybe even longer than that because time flies. You redid the maps, and when you redid those maps, you tried to be fair to everybody. I give you that. But those three properties back there still do not meet that road that used to be there. The people that used to live on that property, their last names were Himes, and they came and went for 30, 40 years, and uh, with no problem. They had access, but for some reason, when, when the county, and this is nothing, this was a long time before any of our time, the county came in there and, uh, and closed that, that uh, or stopped that road, and for some reason, they gave the uh, control of that road to one of the local farmers, one that's got a lot more acreage than we have, and actually farms. And uh, when, when they did that, then he arbitrarily puts up a gate and locks it. So uh, now we've got that worked out because I had to hire an attorney. If he changes the lock, he's got to give me a key. I have no problem with it being locked because there are um, elements that it does keep out at night, perhaps, but during the day, the oil people are in and out, <clears throat> trucks are coming in and out, loggers and such, so it really doesn't help during the day. So once again, my question to all of you, probably just the attorney, am I allowed to build a, a home on that property Am I talking about getting, please don't ask me to get it surveyed and all that nonsense, I'm not going to do that. Am I, am I allowed to build a home on that property and have access to that home always, whether the oil is there or not, because the oil is going to deplete eventually. So I've taken up five minutes of your time, and I guarantee you if I had to talk to each individual, one of you, I would have taken up more than that. So. Well, um, it's, it's, it's a difficult question a lot of times. Okay. With, with, with as far as for the county and, and my role as county attorney and what I can do, I would look at the map, review the map, and see where that county road ends. Yeah. Now, where I have to take into consideration where the ending of that county road ends as far as what our county's ability to do anything with regard to maintenance, mm -hmm. um, uh, with regard to making sure that county road is kept open. Now, after that county road ends on our maps, that's a difficult question not only you deal with, but some others deal with. There's some other, there's some old roadway, road, uh, 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 bed roads. Yes. There's some public access um, to, in a sense, even law students hate this question as far as what a roadway is if it's not on the county road map because you have to figure out, you have to run title opinions on both 
tracks to make sure you have to make sure there's not any easements a lot of times um, the public roadways there could have been some uh, conveyance of uh, public access by a railroad or, or maybe the existence of a railroad at that time there's a lot of questions past that gate into your into that property that would be difficult for me to know and be able to answer without doing a title opinion on it now you'd indicated you retained an attorney I would assume that attorney in determining what rights you have past that gate examined both your property and whatever bull or farmer that you may have been dealing with. The issue was could the farmer legally lock me out of that property? Yeah, that's a good question because I mean if this was a if this was a roadway that extended past that gate for an extended period of time. It's in been the there all all this all the century, all the twentieth century. Right. So <clears throat> even though it might not be a county road for us to be able to work on and maintain it could have some public right to access mm -hmm. through an extended period of use mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh, for that to be proven it sometimes takes court intervention it's the only way that can be answered because you're dealing with public access and public right away that the court would have to answer whether the public has done that so much so as to gain a right through possibly private property you see what okay. i'm saying the but if i go and get a building permit are they going to question that who question who if i question? go to get a building permit to put a home in the middle of this property are they going to question whether i have a road going back and forth to that property are you talking about other owners <coughs> that neighbors no, i'm talking about well we don't have we don't have any we, we, don't, we, don't, have to have we actually have don't have a building permit if it was a public building in Ohio County you don't have a building permit not from the city yeah yeah there's no okay not in Ohio County no no you just need to make sure what I would tell you is through that attorney and the research of the records that that attorney did I assume by him being able to get you to be able to gain some access in the opening of that gate and use has found that you do have some right to use that, but I would I would tell you to rely on their opinion because all we can do is get you to the ending of the county road, and we know that you have the right to use that. Now, here here's the issue. Sometimes, um, if it is determined that that is a public access way, then the ability to block it through your agreement between you and the farmer. Uh, may not be may not do anything to stop me or somebody else that wants to go out there if that is a public access you see what I'm saying yes. in a sense even though the two neighbors agreed to block it if the public still had a right to access they would be able to do so irrespective of your gate right so the main thing is 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 any rights that you take rely on that attorney in in his examination of those records because there could be an easement there might not be I don't there's so many questions until you dive into it now you say well i don't want to get a survey the only reason that every attorney is going to tell you to get a survey is we've had individuals that have a uh, matter of fact that represented them where they've accidentally built built buildings on an adjacent property uh, and and so as a precaution we're always going to tell you to get a survey i understand how that could happen but uh without extending this meeting that long you have to understand that a piece of property like that you're talking about ten thousand dollars we're not going to do that. I mean, we'll just. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the yeah, surveys are expensive. But anyway, the, the point is, if, if you all, if something could be done and without, if something could be done, there are three pieces of property back there that would have some sort of of uh, road frontage, and that would open those three properties up for development, not just all uh, roads and you might have three more pieces of property on your tax base is my point yeah uh, we are you are we sure the road i mean the county road map shows going beyond that gate no the county map shows it stops at that okay, gate okay i'm sorry was there an old county do? map years ago though the show to go beyond that gate? no it shows it now it can shows we not now. do a petition and easement to extend that have them all sign well, that's if, that's if you wanted a county road up there if you if if so those are three adjoining owners assuming that this is where that road is going to go through that those are the only tracks in which it abuts okay assuming those are all the owners you guys could reach an agreement to ask the county to take 
into consideration whether that should be a part of their maintenance or whether it should be a part of the robot. It doesn't mean that they'll accept it, but you could also you could always request that. But it'd have to be the common agreement of all the owners for that. All three, yeah. And then you couldn't have I, I understand that. I wouldn't do anything without asking the owners. And you just gotta meet the county specs. That I'm would sorry? sure make it yeah, easier. You just have to meet the yeah. county specs. Yeah. And, you know. and how far what kind of distance are we talking about when where the gate starts? Distance of probably a quarter of a mile. Yeah. What happened, uh, and like I said, how how this all, the records are lost, there's no documentation as to why it was arbitrarily decided to put the gate there. There are uh, Sometimes two. there's not records. Sometimes there's just an individual wanting to stop somebody from using something. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, I understand that the purpose of the gate, to try to keep people off. But they come in the back way, they come in big rivers this way, they do everything. Anyway, this, uh, there are two huge oil tanks at the end of this road, or where the old road used to be. Two huge oil tanks. It's where all the, all, not all, it's where two farms pumps in, uh, pumps their oil to those two tankers. So you've got a huge tanker truck coming in there every month or so. And he, he picks up the oil, so you've got that. And then you've got the maintenance people that take care of the rigs. They come in there every day. So I appreciate it. I I don't know if I know what I need to know now or not. <laughs> well, if you, did, if, you, if you talk to your neighbors and, yeah. and all of you agree to a certain location and place or whatever, then, you know, call me or Miranda or the judge okay. up and we can, okay. we can always talk to you. Is it around 100 acres? 108, 108, 108, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. You can, if you decide to do that, you can come to our office and I can print out all the paperwork and show you how to fill it out. Okay. Right. Or here. Yes, yeah. I'm right across the hallway in the oh, judge's office. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Big one. No one else has anything for the good of the body? I'm going to call this meeting.